Super quick video today, guys, because there's a story that broke in the watch world just a few days ago, and it's really gathering momentum. It's even being covered now by mainstream media. Now, this one is full of drama and conspiracy. So this all stemmed from an investigative piece put together by a guy called Jose, who has a channel and a website called Periscope, which I'll leave a link for in the description. Go there, guys, check this out. He does a real deep dive into this, and it's because of his work into this story that actually this has now led to a criminal investigation. So, in November 2021, a 1957 Omega Speedmaster went under the hammer at Phillips Auction House in Geneva. Now, by all accounts, the guy price on this one was somewhere in the region of $200,000. The previous record for a Speedmaster at auction had been just over $400,000. Well, this one achieved a record-breaking $3.4 million. Now, there are a couple of things that have come to light, one of which just in the past few days, that are really, really interesting. Now, firstly, this watch was a fake. Okay, we'll say it was at least a Frankenstein watch. It turns out that this watch was basically put together from the parts from several different Speedmasters. Different dial, different movement, different hands, different case. And what had happened was that some pictures surfaced of the dial of this watch and were sent to Periscope. He was able to compare them with dials that he has on his extensive database of Speedmasters and was able to match the dial up with a dial from a completely different watch. And he started digging and more and more information came to light. The second thing is that the winner of the auction was none other than Omega themselves, who bought this watch to put into their museum. Now, Omega has just put out a statement saying that they, along with Philips Auction House in Geneva, are the unwitting victims of this multi-million dollar fraud. And they've also said, which is really interesting, is that three of their former employees have admitted to being responsible for putting together this Frankenstein watch and are now facing a criminal investigation. Now, as I understand it, only one of those three has actually been named, but it turns out to be no less than the former heritage director of Omega himself. And apparently it was under his recommendation that Swatch Group and Omega bought this watch. He said it was so historically significant that they just had to acquire it at any price. Now, there are a few things about this story that don't really add up to me and make an awful lot of sense, especially when you start looking at the characters and the parties involved. So yes, of course, Omega and Philips auctioneers are the victims in this whole story. When you look at the perpetrators, it really begs the question, was it worth them risking going to jail, losing their jobs, one of whom was a very senior employee of Omega and Swatch Group? Was it really worth risking all of that for $3 million? Now, far be it from me to suggest that the company behind the Moonswatch could pull off a stunt like this as some sort of cynical marketing and publicity stunt to drive up the price of Speedmasters. I mean, I'm sure that that really wouldn't happen, and especially not just six months before launching a new version of the Speedmaster 57. I mean, no, I just couldn't possibly suggest such a thing. I'm sure that that would never, ever happen. But it is interesting to speculate as to whether there might be a little bit more to this whole story than meets the eye. Now, if you want to find out more about this story, I'll leave a link in the description to Periscope's website, so head over there. I'd also recommend checking out the Scottish Watches podcast. They actually interviewed Periscope earlier this week, and he talks about this in great detail, and that's a really interesting listen. Now, I'd love to know what you guys think of this unfolding drama in the watch world, and whether you think there might be a bit more to this story than meets the eye. So do let me know your thoughts in the comments. And guys, as ever, thanks so much for watching. I'm off to eat my dinner. I'll see you soon.